Microneedling, I'm sure it's a treatment you've heard of time and time again. It's so good for so many different concerns. But did you know that there are actually two ways to perform microneedling or receive microneedling? And in today's video, I'm going to delve in what those two methods of action are talking you through the differences whilst also showing you some of my amazing client transformations. So if we haven't met already, my name's Belle Bourne. I'm a skin clinic owner and skincare professional based here in the UK, and I help people achieve their healthy skincare goals. And I do that by advising people on the correct treatments and products for their skin concerns. And I created this YouTube channel to share some of my knowledge with you. So if learning about skincare is your thing, then hit the subscribe button below and let's get into today's video. Now, as a skincare professional for about 10 years now, if there's one treatment that I've performed probably more than others and become quite skilled in is microneedling. It's a treatment that's so commonly recommended to so many of my clients for so many different concerns. And I can honestly say, as I speak for many other practitioners out there, that I can just simply rely on it all the time. But just to help you understand what microneedling is, so microneedling is a treatment that provides a controlled trauma within the skin, which creates a flush of collagen and elastin to come to the surface. Effectively, what it does is it helps to trick the skin into healing itself. So it's effectively tricking the skin to actually function at a younger rate. And what happens is it helps to work on and exfoliate and get rid of, eradicate all the lax collagen, all the old dead skin cells that we don't want from the surface, allowing all of those new restored skin cells to come to the surface, which visibly gives the skin a much more younger, youth boosted appearance. It's a treatment that can help with so many different concerns, such as acne scarring, hyperpigmentation, uneven skin texture, skin dehydration, anti-aging concerns. It's just so fantastic for so many things. And there are two different forms of microneedling. So you've got the derma roller and you've got the derma pen. So the derma roller is a handheld microneedling device which utilizes a manual method. So it contains around about 500 small needles and it looks like a little paint roller. So what you do is you roll her across the surface of the skin in almost like a cross hatch motion. And as with microneedling in general, these tiny little needles stimulate that collagen response in the skin with normally a derma roller being predominantly used as a home treatment option rather than an in-clinic treatment option. And when it is rollered over the skin, it hits the skin at a 45 degree angle and it's suitable for treatments on the face and the body. So the derma pen method uses a motorized device and it oscillates the needle cartridge around about 2,200 revolutions per second. So the actual stimulation on the skin is a lot more even than derma rolling and the adjustable needle depths make it an option to provide much more of a comfortable treatment for the client. And I would say with my experience with microneedling when I've used the derma roller device, as to when I've used the derma pen device, I definitely do see a difference between the two. Obviously, you have to make sure that you're going to a practitioner who has great equipment to obviously achieve the very best results alongside with aftercare and all of that. But derma pen microneedling rather than derma roller microneedling is definitely better as an in-clinic treatment option, especially when you're wanting to achieve results for your clients. It's much more comfortable. The needle depth can be adjusted as well. And with derma roller, you don't really get that. So it's definitely an advancement in the technology, let's say. However, derma pen microneedling is not to be done on your skin at home. If you're looking for a home treatment option, it would always be a derma roller. And home derma rollers are fantastic. I've used some on my skin before. They've really helped to accelerate results in between in-clinic treatments that I've had, but also as a home treatment option, they can be fantastic and they can create really, really great results. The only thing I'd say is that you just might 
reach that goal a little bit slower because naturally when you're in a home environment and you're performing the treatment on yourself obviously the protocols have to be adhered to you doing it and you're not necessarily a skin professional so with the derma roller it will always be at a lower needle depth so around the 0.5 millimeters so that'll be great for more milder skin concerns whereas if you really want some heavy duty in clinic treatments if you've got very bad acne scarring post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation skin texture issues I would definitely go and receive a derma pen micro needling treatment in an in clinic environment because for more major skin concerns in clinic treatments are definitely where you will need to be home treatments will definitely support that but just don't neglect those in clinic treatments if that is something that you can commit to Normally, if you're performing microneedling via a derma roller device on your skin at home, I'd probably say wait around 10 to 14 days in between each time that you perform the treatment just to allow your skin to properly repair itself. Sometimes you can actually wait longer. It's sometimes not a bad thing to wait longer because it allows your skin to repair itself. In clinic, depending on the concern that you're having treated, expect to receive treatments around about every two to eight weeks. Like I say, depending on the concern that you're having treated, but of course your practitioner will guide you on an appropriate treatment plan that suits. And when you are undergoing a microneedling treatment plan, whether that's at home or in an in-clinic professional setting, you really need to nail your aftercare and your product usage in between your treatments. Because it is a controlled trauma treatment at the end of the day, regardless of the needle depth, we are puncturing the skin with tiny little needles. So you do need some aftercare that will support the repairing and the healing process that your skin will go through. But your practitioner will, of course, be able to guide you on the correct products that they are accredited and trained in to know what supports their in-clinic treatments that they offer. So please, do take heed of their advice they are definitely telling you it for a reason but also if you are performing home treatments on your skin then just make sure that you're not not taking that seriously as well because we are puncturing the skin we are providing a controlled trauma and we do really need to make sure that the skin is being looked after a little bit of a shorter video today so I do hope that you enjoyed that. I hope that you now understand the difference between derma rolling and derma pen and if you were to choose one depending on your concerns I hope now that I've given you some guidance into being able to do that. If you would like to book in for a virtual skin consultation with me to discuss privately any skin concerns that you do have I do offer this service weekly. I would love for you to get in touch. I would love to be able to help you. If you have any questions that you want to fire at me please feel free to pop these in in the comments section below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and I will chat to you again soon.